the missile near its end point splits into multiple warheads, confusing the enemy and maximizing impact. The fact that India has this capability, Divyastra or the divine weapon uh, is, is what the Agni 5 is. The Prime Minister has just announced proud of our DRDO scientists for Mission Divyastra. The flight test of indigenously developed Agni 5 missile with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRV technology. Shiv Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the NOTAM that had been issued, uh, the Prime Minister has said we are proud of our DRDO scientists for mission Divyastra. So it is the Divyastra mission that has been tested. The first flight test of the indigenously developed Agni 5 missile with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle technology. And this is a very, very big signal that India is sending out a signal about India's security, strategic security in the Indian Ocean region when you test out the Divyastra. And that's the announcement that's been made by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Agni 5 is extremely, extremely crucial for national security. And this is a very, very big step in India's national security. The Agni 5 missile, a submarine launched nuclear capable missile that completes India's triad. So you have nuclear tip missiles that can be fired from land air sea and now subsea from a submarine hidden anytime and this will make india's enemies and adversaries think a hundred times before they try any misadventure shiv india's agni 5 missile is not just a simple ballistic missile capable of hitting targets 6000 kilometers away but it also carries multiple independently targeted uh, 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 targeted re-entry vehicles or MIRVs, which basically means that the missile near its end point splits into multiple warheads, confusing the enemy and maximizing impact. Gaurav, this is absolutely huge. Uh, and, the, uh, and the Prime Minister has chosen to single out the DRDO, the, the, you know, the amazing men and women of the uh, advanced systems laboratory and the other missile laboratories under the DRDO that have worked tirelessly to make India not only totally uh, independent and self-reliant as far as missiles are concerned, but giving us some of the most reliable, uh, you know, strategic land-based and submarine-based deterrents. This particular missile, we understand, uh, you know, was possibly a land test. That's what the Agni 5 is. But a version of this, Gaurav, could possibly be tested from the sea in the next few days as well. So a big this announcement is, by the Prime Minister. It is huge, uh, a step like this for India's national security and for strategic deterrence. This sends out a very clear message to India's adversaries. Uh, the fact that India has this capability, Divyastra or the divine weapon uh, is, is what the Agni 5 is. Now, when you have multiple uh, re-entry uh, vehicles, uh, MIRVs, what does this mean? That even if the enemy is able to take out one or two, there are multiple others that can still target the VA and VP vital asset and vital points of the adversary, giving India that capability and enemy that disadvantage. The fact that this weapon has now been tested, it was in the works. The Defence Research and Development Organisation has been working on this ship. You'd recall the Integrated Missile Development Programme uh, has been in the works for quite some time and very successful in most cases. Agni, Prithvi, Akash, Nag, Trishul, five of these India has been working on from the 1980s. The fact that Divyastra has now been tested and successfully tested and the Prime Minister has congratulated scientists of the Defence Research and Development Organisation for the successful flight test or the successful test of the Divyastra. I want to just, uh, Gaurav, stay with me. I want to share some uh, wonderful uh, you know, little nuggets and factoids about today's test and why it's so important and why the Prime Minister uh, you know, has singled it out for this kind of praise. Uh, now, Mission Divyastra is the first flight test of the Agni 5 with the technology that I just described to you. 
this will ensure that a single missile can deploy multiple warheads at different locations. So it doesn't need to be just one target. It can be different multiple targets with just one missile. The project director is a woman and has significant women's contribution. This is something I want to uh, explain to our viewers. There is absolutely nothing uncommon or abnormal uh, you know, or special about a woman leading this program. Viewer, multiple... Indian weapons projects, including past Agni projects, have been led very, very capably by women. There are hundreds of women scientists on par with men in, in many ways, way ahead across different weapons uh, uh, programs in the DRDO. So it should come as no surprise to anyone that a woman has led this particular uh, project called Mission Divyastra. With the test of Mission Divyastra, India has joined a select group of nations who have this multiple independently targetable uh, re-entry vehicle technology or MERV technology. The system is equipped with indigenous avionic systems and high accuracy, high, high accuracy sensor packages which ensure that the re-entry vehicles, which is basically means the, the split up warheads targeting different targets, reach the target points within the desired accuracy. The capability is an enunciator of India's growing technological prowess. So this is huge. This is an absolute milestone. There's no question that this is a massive uh, uh, you know, technology leap as far as India's nuclear deterrent is concerned.